Another very important feature is the fill. You can fill text boxes or you can draw a line like I'm going to do. Deselect it here, but then select your line and click this button to choose from a variety of colors and fills. I'm going to do this gradient one. This is a very unique style and you can use it with open or closed shapes as you can see. Another important feature is the duplicate. If you select one, you can click this button right here to duplicate it and then drag it. If you would like, you can make even more copies just by re-clicking this. But I'm going to delete all of them so I have space for my future mind map. Next, I'm going to show you how to use the cut, paste, and copy. So here, I'm just going to drag a random balloon out here, make it bigger, and if I want to copy it, I just click this button over here to copy it, click somewhere random, and paste it. This is the same thing as a duplicate, but it's just another way of making it. Next is the cut, so you just highlight a picture and you press the scissors button over here and it just cuts it and here too and if you maybe made an accident and you accidentally cut something you can click the undo button and get your work back but if you want to redo it you can click the other arrow and redo it for this instructional video this part of the video was just to explore all of the t tools that we're going to be using now we're going to make a real diagram. So I'm going to exit right here and make a new diagram until it runs me to this space. So in this video, we're going to make a mind map all about cats for an example. The first thing we need to start with is going to the text menu to make a title because we always need to start with a title when making a creation. Our title will be all about We'll change the font to Arial Black, make it very big, have it be purple and underlined. We'll move it to the center. The next step is going to the stencil menu, and up here we're going to make a bubble to make a cat from scratch. Going to the basic, you can take a circle and making it larger. This is another place where you can use the fill. We'll fill it with orange, so it can be an orange cat. From here we can make ears for the cat from dragging the triangles in the stencil menu. And since cats have two ears, we're gonna make two a triangle. It shows you all these positions that you can make, but it's very cool if you need something. You can also turn the ears sideways, rotate them, to make them more like cat ears, because they're not straight on their head. Also, change the fill to some black ears, for example. From here, we can make some eyes from either dragging the circle from the stencil menu or drawing them freehand using the, using the lines. I'm going to change the fill of the eyes also to black, so he doesn't look very creepy. What a cute little cat, but he's not done yet. Now we can make his nose using another picture from the stencil menu. A semicircle will work, and we'll make it pink. From here we can use the line menu and draw his mouth and whiskers. But I think I'll re undo that because that's not how I want it. I'm going to reselect the freehand line, make the thickness less, and change the color back to black. 
and have a normal line. That looks better, doesn't it? So since we want to insert more pictures of cats, we're going to make a few bubbles for the pictures to sit in. First we'll deselect the, pic the freehand line, take some circles for example to make our bubbles, take another one to make another bubble up here, and fill them both with some pretty turquoise. Next, we're going to click the file button again to insert more pictures. Just be patient with this because it can take some time to load. I'm going to scroll down and sideways because this is a very large picture to make it a lot smaller. And drag the picture inside my bubble. You can center it with these guide, guidance lines. Now we want to insert another picture to fill our other bubble. So do the same thing as what you just did. We'll insert a funny cat in. There. Next we want to make a table to insert our information about cats. So click the table menu. And for our example, we're going to make a 5 by 5 chart. Perfect. Now we'll just drag it to the bottom where we want it and put some information. You get the point. So now we can change the font as well and other things about the table. If you forgot to connect your bubbles, that's okay. All you need to do is click anywhere to deselect your table. Click, click this line if you want a straight line and make two lines just like this. 